You're watching Fox 21 News at 8, bringing you the most local news. We are Southern Colorado. Check your pockets. You may just have the newly released quarter. Oh, okay, so still in on Fox 21 Morning News who this quarter recognizes and why. Happening now, take a look in your pockets. You may just have this summer's newly released quarter recognizing Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, the only woman ever to be awarded the Medal of Honor. This is big stuff here right now with more about her story and these new quarters is celebrity historian Rafi and Doni. And good morning to you. Here I am. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting the memo today. Yeah, I'm that's right. So well. <laughs> going to prom. I'm the chaperone. Right uh, so talk to us right now. Tell us who was Dr. Mary Edwards Walker. She was a Civil War surgeon, and as yeah. you mentioned, the only woman to ever win the Medal of Honor. What's interesting is when she was growing up, her parents told her that she should think freely. So she went to medical college, and she graduated in the 1850s. A woman mm. graduating med school in the 1850s. Yeah. She ended up marrying a fellow medical student, okay. and they ended up setting a practice, setting up a practice together. But the practice failed, and they got divorced. Oh. And oh. soon after, the Civil War broke out. Talk about a series of Ooh, events. Yeah. And when the what Civil a bad War year. I know. <laughs> I <would laughs> right? So, I would say Give so. Give her a quarter. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's what she said. Yeah. Now, in the Civil War, she wanted to volunteer for the Union cause. She wanted mm -hmm. to join the cause. But they would not let her join as a surgeon because she was a woman. Mm -hmm. So she decided to volunteer instead of getting commissioned by the Army as a surgeon and in volunteering and doing dangerous things like going through the front lines and crossing enemy lines, she earned a commission by the U.S. Army, the first woman to ever become a surgeon appointed by the U.S. Army. Wow. But she held a civilian role, not okay. a military role, but appointed by the yeah. U.S. Army. Yeah. She continued her valor. She went behind enemy lines multiple times to the point where she ended up getting captured as a prisoner of war by Confederates, spent four months at a POW camp, believe wow. it or not, during the Civil War, eventually was released in a prisoner exchange and went on to live her life serving as a surgeon at an orphanage and also at a women's hospital. Incredible. Eventually, she lived another 50 plus years what after that, believe it or not. Yeah. But that's why she won the Medal of Honor, because of her valor in breaking all those grounds, right. being insistent on participating and doing so bravely in the dangerous situations yeah. that she wow. did. She had no fear. Okay, so, but why now? Why should she be rec recognized on the quarter now? Because the U.S. Mint has a series of quarters honoring women. We have some of them right here. Okay. There are five a year being released. Mm -hmm. We're in the third year right now, and hers was released this summer right there in the center of these pieces here. And what's fascinating about that is that this is the only time that we've had an entire series of coins or quarters yeah. in U.S. history being dedicated to women. Yeah. So there are 20 total women over the four years that are going to be honored, and she's the most current one. And remember, she's yeah. on the same platform as George Washington, and there's a long history okay. of you know, honoring people on coins right. going back thousands of years. On the quarter on the head side, you have George Washington. So quick, quickly, what yeah. does her image mean? Her image means that she has a surgical kit in her hand, yeah. she has the uh, surgeon's pin on her collar, yeah. and she has a Medal of Honor she's wearing that she wore for the rest of her life. Okay. And then there's a separate Medal of Honor close up to the left of her that you can see. And here's why that matters. Not only did she win it, but eventually, believe it or not, she got stripped of the Medal of Honor mm. because of the fact that she was a civilian when she was participating mm. in the war. Okay. So 50 years later, they stripped her. However, another 60 years after that, under President Jimmy Carter in 1977, they restored the Medal of Honor so she got it back. So that's how important this is to her. But like I said, she wore it the rest of her life on her on her lapel here. That's how important that was yeah. to her, if you think about it. Yeah. So remember, guys, currency or money is where nations honor their heroes. Mm. And that's what it means to have these women, particularly Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, on the quarter okay. today, circulating in your pocket. This guy knows so much. <laughs> you can go fantastic. on all day. It's fantastic. Yeah. And you bring history to life, and we always yeah. appreciate you coming Thank by. You. And, and it comes to life. And remember, it's accessible. That's important about this, too. Sometimes history feels like it's afar, right. dead in books. Right. But this is in your pocket. It makes it accessible for you to see. Okay. It's not a collector's item. You can hold it in your hand. I'm going to go check my pocket. Rafi and Doni, and thank you so much for coming. <laughs> thank in. you all. And sharing once again. We appreciate that. <laughs> Time now. It's 827. More news and headlines are coming up next. You're watching Fox 21 Morning News. Stay with us.